And welcome to Rockin' Rabbits. My name is Carmen if you haven't been here before and my rabbit's name is Lydia. Um, she's not going to be in this video unless she pops over here right now. She's a little busy eating hay. Um, today we're going to be doing a do-it-yourself video. I'm going to be making a hay toy out of a paper bag and hay. Um, what they can do is a, eat the hay, t toss the bag around, eat the bag. Um, you can even put like little treats inside. Can, sometimes I'll put in like little slices of carrot or a piece of lettuce or parsley, something like that. Um, or you can put in um, whatever treats you may have. Um, I just personally like to use um, fruits and veg certain vegetables as a treat just because I don't usually use store-bought treats because they, sometimes they can have certain ingredients in them that in them that aren't necessarily good for rabbits. Um, but anyway, getting on with the video, what you are going to need a pair of scissors. Um, if you are not old enough to use scissors or don't know how to use scissors um, or are afraid to use them, do ask and please ask for a parent's permission, supervision, or for them to do it for you. I wouldn't want anybody getting hurt in the making of it, of a, of a toy for your rabbit. Um, I am taking extra precaution because my particular set of scissors are very sharp. Because um, they come from a company called Cutco and their knives and, and these scissors are, are ridiculously sharp. I can cut the edge off of a penny with this, no joke, I have done it. Um, next thing I'm going to use is a paper bag, just like a lunch bag. I got these at Walgreens. Um, it's 50 bags, I think it was like... Two dollars, maybe three at the very most. Um, so we're gonna paper bag, and then you're gonna need hey, I'm using Oxbow Orchard Grass. I apologize if that's backwards on my camera. Um, and then also, if you're not good at cutting in a straight line, a pen. Now you can draw your shape and just cut along the line. So, today I'm going to be doing a heart shape. So, I'm going to draw a heart on my bag. I apologize, you can't see me drawing the heart. It's not, not a good one, but there's my heart. And I'm going to draw a heart also on the other side. Actually, I'll draw a couple little hearts. bigger heart. Again, that's not my best, but those are my three other hearts that are going to be on the back. Then I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to pinch the bottom of my heart on the front, just enough so that way I can cut my first lines here. Then I'm just going to follow those lines all the way around the heart until I've cut out the heart shape. It's a little bit more of a heart shape, but normally it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just one of those people that likes to make it kind of look like what I'm trying to do. So there's my first heart shape. Now I'm going to do my hearts on the back. And again, I'm just going to pinch the, pa the paper bag just a little bit, just to get my first lines. And then I'm just going to cut my heart shape out. one doesn't quite look like a heart, but those are my three, my other three hearts. I got my heart on the front. Now the next thing you're going to do is push all of your other stuff aside. Um, I like to grab some paper towel 
personally just have underneath of the bag while I'm stuffing it, mostly because I'm in the kitchen right now and I don't want to get hay all over the kitchen. I prefer to keep it as contained as possible. Said, the next thing to do is just stuff it. Now, in this one, I'm not going to be putting any treats in this time. Um, in my next Do It Yourself video, I will do one with treats. Now, some people will use strands of Timothy grass from like Timothy grass mats to tie it closed. I just kind of twist it closed, mostly because I don't have anything like that at the moment. Um, I do have to get some more because I've used it all. <laughs> um, let's see. So this is what it looks like before it's closed off. And I just crumple the top a little bit and just twist it. And I just kind of blow it up a little bit make it a little bit more secure and just squeeze it as tight as I can. Unfortunately that made our first heart on the front here look not so much like a heart but, <laughs> but either way there you have it. It's a treat bag, hay bag made out of a paper lunch bag and hay. And then you can add in um, any treats of your choosing and then give it to your rabbits to enjoy. And then they'll enjoy that for hours or days depending on how often they eat it. And then you can just sit back and watch the fun. Also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you'd like to follow us there also. I will include those links below for you to some more great do-it-yourself ideas. Binky Bunny also has um, some great do-it-yourself projects as well as Budget Bunny. Um, I will include the links to their websites as well with those tips and ideas for you. Um, and if you have any questions for me or request videos, anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments or message me on here or our Facebook page or Twitter. Um, and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can as well as get that video up for you. Um, and remember that a binky a day keeps the boredom away. Have an awesome day. Bye. What's in the world going by?